everybody, Steve Taylor here with Steve Taylor's High School Stars of the Week. I'm here with Tom Cole and Terry Crosby. Unfortunately, Nick Marconi is unavailable today, but uh, he'll be back next week to kick things off. Boss, Cross and I have got it, the word on the street, you know. Cross has got his, arm, his ear in the street. You fired Nick, inability to read and memorize the scripts. And I don't know if that's true. I hope it's not true, Nick, but that's what we heard. We'll find out next week. All right. No All comment. Right. No comment. All right. Hey, we're going to kick the show off and go right over to Perrysburg. Yeah. Our neighbors across the highway here, we've got an outstanding soccer player. If I read this right, four-year varsity soccer yep. player, also captain. Yes. And uh, on her way to go play at OU next yeah. year. Rianne Pruss uh, at Perrysburg, and uh, she's outstanding boss, as you said, in soccer. Here's the thing that I, I really enjoyed about reading about what she's done as a four-year player. Cross, you know that. You were a four-year player at DeVilvis, uh, Tennessee. You, you know, you did it all. But she was an inclusive captain. In other words, she made sure that everybody on the team, no matter what your position in the pecking order of, you know, are you first string, sure. second string, are you... You know, she made sure that everybody felt like they belonged on that team. And and you guys have all played sports, you're athletes. I can't tell you how important that is because the one youngster that, you know, you encourage may someday step up and be the player that you need at the moment, you know. Right. And so, you know, congratulations to the captain, Rayanne, great job, and especially the way you treat others on the team. And you know, Tom, that's a very poignant uh, point that you just made there because – being a captain is not easy. No. And I noticed with uh, Rianne that she included everybody on the team, okay? So the last person on that team was important as the first yep. person. And that's very, very important. Spot and Congratulations. And, stuff. and, you know, we always talk about the talent in Northwest Ohio. Yep. I know another D1 prospect. Yes. Going to OU. Yeah, absolutely. Playing. Beautiful absolutely. campus, by the way. Yeah, great school. High awesome. University. Hey, we're going to move things over to the football field, and uh, we know something a little bit about this next star, um, you knew his brother, older brother, very well, Brady yep. Lichtenberg. Yeah. We're going to be talking a lot about Blake. Yeah. You know, uh, yes. Brady was great, yes. set all sorts of records. Yeah. Blake's a junior. He's got big things in front of him, a lot of big shoes to fill. Everybody knows that. But, man, this kid can play. And what a phenomenal game to kick off the season last Friday against Anthony Wayne. I was listening to it. I think you know a little bit about it. Tell the story about what, what he did that night. Yeah, yeah, boss. You know, it's the Hank Williams Jr. song, Family Tradition. I think they have a family tradition of a great quarterback. So, you know, Blake's got his first real start. He's a junior. Uh, they get the ball. They're about uh, 75 yards away from the end zone. They have a minute 38 on the clock, a couple of timeouts. I mean, it's a storybook kind of thing. He takes them down the field. They get down to the 10-yard line. They got time for Cross. One snap, five seconds. Clock's going to run out on this play. And Blake, uh, you know, cool. If you watch the tape, and it's all over on uh, the social network, you know, he kind of rolls a little to his left. He uh, buys a little time so his receiver can get open in the end zone. And his receiver was wedged between two defenders. And I'm telling you, he threw a dart in between the two yep. guys, hit yep. the man in the end zone. Clock runs out. Game over, Hollywood ending, 22-20, SJ, and Blake in his first start. Great job. And you know the amazing thing? I've watched Blake in some interviews, yeah. and it was very important for me to hear, and I'm sure many others, that he is not trying to follow in the footsteps of his brother. He said, I'm my own person. I've learned some things from my brother, but I'm going to do it my way. And that was very, very admirable for me. Good yeah. point. Yeah, yes. for sure, for sure. Yes. Awesome story. And our second, our, our second star from from that game, yep. the receiver, who caught his first touchdown pass, I believe, right. to haul in that pass, get open, in that heat of the moment, man, what a what a great job! Bo a boss, you're spot on. Justin Toller, again, back to the same scenario, ten yard line, clock's going to run out, last play. Everybody names pass routes differently, mm -hmm. so you know, I, I don't know. Somebody will say, what well, was this route or that route? But to me. He ran a bend uh, or a quick shoulder. What he did is he ran into the end zone and he influenced in, okay, try in, cross, you know this, yes. influenced the safety to think he was going that to way, bite. then whips back out, and he called a whip route too, whips back out, so he's got the safety off to the side, whips back out, boom, hits in the chest, falls down in the end zone, ran a great route. Uh, you know, congratulations, uh, Justin. Great job. And it's so very important when the pressure's on, tied that the clock is running out. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, the great ones step up. So I'm really, really impressed with this Good young boy. man. 
Good point. Really yeah. impressed with that. You know, there's so many things that could go wrong. Yes. And those two connected. Yes. First win of the season. Great job. And, and great win over Anthony Wayne, too. Yeah. And you know what's so tough about athletics? I mean, you could drop that ball yes. easily because yeah. it was not an easy catch. Yeah. He was sandwiched in between two people. Yeah. He, you know, it got on him, like, immediately, like, threw a dart in there. It was on him, and you could easily drop it. And you think about the rest of your life, people would bring that up that, hey, you know, you had a chance had a to chance. catch that winning pass at the end of the game. And that's why athletics, are, it's its great, but it also can be very difficult. Or, Tom, what about this? The quarterback could have threw it out, out of the yeah. stadium. Yeah, well, I've done that. Yeah. I mean, that, I, trust me, I, I was known as a coach killer when I played, you know. So I will say I had, uh, I picked my daughter up from that game, brought her home. We left a little early. Right, right. Should have stayed and watched Ooh. the whole thing. But shout out to the Wolf 107.7 yeah. broadcasting that game. Mm -hmm. They do a fantastic job. We were able to listen to it on the way home. So shout out to the Wolf. Uh, they do a great job broadcasting St. John's. And sponsored by you and your dad of Taylor Road and family. So, yeah, great. And Thanks. can I give a quick shout out, guys, if you don't mind? I'd like to give a shout out to the Scott Bulldogs. They started off the season 2-0. Oh, yeah. They are absolutely rolling. Dr. Yeah. Connell Smith signed yeah. as the starting quarterback. So I shall be there on Friday night watching the swag. Awesome. All right. I awesome. like it. Cool. We're going to wrap up the show with another star from the St. John's Anthony Wayne game. But this time it's on the Anthony Wayne side of the ball. A phenomenal game by a young man with, a, I believe, a punt return, a couple interceptions. I mean, yeah. this guy was all over the field. You know, it's a tough loss, but, man, they've got some stellar athletes on that team. They do, boss, and you're talking about England Allen. Kind of a really cool first name, yeah. England. Yes. I like that. I wonder what the nicknames are. You know, <laughs> England, you know, France, or, you know, whatever. Manchester. Know. Yeah, 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 Manchester. Well, there you, that's you even know, better. you're the king of the nicknames. <laughs> I think if you gave this guy a nickname, yeah, it might stick. stick. Yeah. 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 Cross might be right. It might be Manchester. Yeah. That, that's pretty good. But, uh, yeah, he, he people don't understand athletics. They tend to ask, did you win or did you lose? If you won, you're a winner. You lost, you're a loser, which is totally, completely wrong. In defeat, uh, Anthony Wayne played uh, a brilliant game. This young man, as you said, boss, picked off two passes. Cross, you know about this as a DB. You pick off two in a game. Yes. You're, doing, yes. you're doing pretty well. Returned a punt. It must have been about 75 yeah. yards right down the sideline. Uh, he had a great game and, and did everything he could to possibly help his team win. So, England Allen, great job. And you know what? I hope he carries on with the great performances because he absolutely was a standout in that game. I mean, to pick off two passes in yeah. one game and return a punt 75 yards. You know, who deserves to win? Who deserves to lose? And his new nickname is Manchester. So, <laughs> Manchester <laughs> Allen, we'll be looking for you in the next game. That's right. That's right. Nice job, Manchester. Way to go. <laughs> hey, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. As always, if you know any of these high school student athletes that are out there that are doing a great job, let us know about them. We'd love to highlight them on the show. Everybody also receives a free large pizza from Marco's Pizza. So we want to give a shout out to Marcos for thanking us uh, for doing all this for all the kids too. So tune in next week. We'll see you and hopefully Nick Marconi will be back. Take care.